I don't have a lot of jokes for this video, and I don't feel like standing up for this video. Today was the day the Navy Yard shootings happened in D.C. There are 12 confirmed dead, as well as the shooter. There's something about living in the D.C. area that makes hearing about one gunshot seem like it's not that big of a deal. And that basically makes us all assholes. Today's shooting took place just before 9 a.m. at the Navy Yard. As soon as reports started coming in, I saw it happen on Twitter of the shootings happening at Navy Yard. There was a very fast emergency response. So fast that one of the people I follow on Twitter, uh, Mazzy, asked the question, what if every shooting in D.C. caused responses like this? And that's a good question to think about. But despite the, I'm certain, excellent response by D.C. police and EMS, there were still multiple shootings. The thing about living in this Twitter-fied world is that there was tons of information. I follow my, a lot of people who are local to me. The huge amount of information that was coming through Twitter was overwhelming. I didn't fall into the trap of retweeting and spreading a lot of information about stuff that was from laypersons. I tried to wait until I saw confirmations from news sources that I trusted, or better yet, DC police and EMS. Then I shared the information that I saw that looked pretty damn confirmed. But just about everybody has this instinct to want to help. It's easy to fall into that trap of, oh, this is something that I haven't seen tweeted yet. It's relevant information I should share it to everybody else. And then you just do that without first verifying. I don't follow people who spread malicious information. If they share information that's incorrect and unverified, I'm sure they're doing it with the best of intentions. Uh, and most of the people who do that sort of thing find out very quickly from continuing to look around Twitter themselves that they've made a mistake and then they retract their original tweet. What I think is not cool is wasting energy and additional Twitter bandwidth attacking someone for spreading bad information. Give them a minute to figure out for themselves if they're right or wrong. And we're all on the same side. I live in the D.C. area and it is a very information, politics, terrorism savvy place for the most part. We've kind of had to become that. There are parts of my workday where I'm still trying to be productive and I would just stop without realizing and, and stare at the news feeds, just paralyzed or mesmerized by whatever was happening. I saw people falling back into the relatively recent debate, I think, of uh, is this terrorism or is this just a mass killing spree? Afterwards, by all means, let's figure out the motivation so we can know what referendums to vote which way and the issues that a candidate should hold in order for us to vote for them the next time around. Not during the incident. They released a photo of the man who is suspected of having killed all 12 victims. I don't want to call him the shooter because that dehumanizes him. The thing that we can really see from all of the shootings in the United States over the past couple of years is that these aren't monsters. These are people who have, in many cases, mental health issues or who believe very strongly in some sort of set of tenets that dehumanize us. So perpetuating the cycle of dehumanization I don't think is the way to go. I looked at the photo of Aaron Alexis, and, and I didn't feel angry or hatred. I felt miserable. I felt sad. I've gotten to that point where I, I don't see them as monsters anymore. I see these mass murderers as messed up people. How many times did he tell the world around him that he needed help? He could have potentially gotten help before when it was... A small problem instead of a big problem. I read from witnesses to the shooting, he said nothing. This guy killed all those people and he didn't say anything while he was doing it. He didn't preach a belief. He didn't decry some political policy. More than anything else, that tells me that he has tried to say things before. And he ran out of things to say. I don't have anything useful to add to this conversation right now. Maybe my words will ring true to you and help you to formulate what you think and feel about all of this. It's a bad day. What is it that you have to say that people aren't hearing? What is somebody around you saying that you're not hearing? It's hard for me to say I hope you like this video because the topic is horrible and I didn't say a bunch of uplifting things. Thanks for making it this far and listening to my rambling. Here's hoping tomorrow's a better day. I was initially going to put up a stupid video about how I'm sleepy and the stupid things I do when I'm sleepy. I'm going to hold on to that video and post it um, the next day.